Looking to enjoy the relatively warmer weather with a night out? Chris Jones tells us why a new production centered on a princess might be worth the ticket price. What happened to Anastasia, Grand Duchess of Russia? Did she die in the revolution? Or did she somehow escape to Paris and live on in regal anonymity? Well, in 1997, the legend of Anastasia was turned into an animated movie, and it's now a Broadway musical, all about an amnesiac orphan who might be more than she seems. Anastasia is not game-changing art by any means. But in an era where smart princesses are very much in vogue, it's an engaging, family-friendly musical with a romantic sweep and a provocative mystery at its core. In dire circumstances, why wallow in regrets? This is the national tour. And it's filled with soaring ballads, and it's really good fun. Anastasia gets three stars. My spirit is too ancient to understand the separation of soul and gender. At Court Theatre, there's a spectacular new staging of For Coloured Girls Who've Considered Suicide When the Rainbow Is Enough. My love is too sanctified. <laughs> this is a gorgeous choreo poem from Entozake Shange, all about the pain and the joy of being black and female. 45 years ago now, but the issues really haven't changed too much, and this prescient piece of theatre has lost none of its power. <laughs> Coloured Girls gets four stars. For CBS2 News, I'm Chris Jones. Anastasia is at the Nederlander Theater through April 7th. Tickets range from $27 to $123. Colored Girls is playing at the Court Theater through April 14th. Tickets are $50 to $74. Four, four stars. You don't see those too yeah, often. Yeah, it looks like good shows. Must be a heck of a show.